what's going on YouTube it's your boy get this Nick back with another video for you guys we're on the good old girl Juicy Lucy and we're gonna do something a little different today you know usually my videos are me just vlogging around blasting around but and I told myself I was never gonna do a video like this but I was thinking about getting into like a little series or like a playlist of how to ride a motorcycle Guys, I know there's like a, a million videos on YouTube about this, but I don't know. I remember watching some of them when I was just getting into riding a motorcycle and even going back and looking at some of them right now. And there's plenty of videos and a lot of them do give great tips and everything like that. But some of the videos, it's just like, um, they're just all over the place. I mean, they're trying to show you this, they're trying to show you this, they're trying to show you this. So I thought to myself, what can I do to get some videos out there and make this as easy as possible for people to understand maybe I could break it down into different parts stuff like that and that's what I came up with that's what I'm gonna do so this first video guys of this how to ride a motorcycle series playlist whatever you want to call it is just gonna be the very basics I'm gonna try to explain it as clearly as possible and not try to make this video super long and that's the goal of these, this playlist is to just get these parts out quickly, efficiently, and not drag around and, and talk about stuff that doesn't need to be spoken about. So this video is going to be very basic. Like I said, this is just going to be the controls. And I will go through and do the same title and just do different parts for the whole series. Make it easy for you guys to follow along and uh, hopefully learn some information on how to ride a motorcycle. So if you're interested in getting on two wheels and stuff like that, hopefully this helps out. But let me drive to the spot here where I'll be able to settle down and it'll be quiet where I can talk this over with you guys and we will go from there. So just give me one second. Alright guys. So we're at a little location here where it's quiet. There's no traffic. There's nothing going on where I can kind of break this down and explain to you. So let's just get right into the video here. So part one of this series is going to be the basic controls of a motorcycle and we have the girl Juicy Lucy coming in to uh, to help us out here and walk through these steps now some of you guys I know are just you have no idea about a motorcycle you don't know nothing so I'm gonna break it down as simple as possible and try to make it as clear and concise as possible for you guys so when you throw your leg over the motorcycle here we center it you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on you're looking at here. Um, I know it could be overwhelming at first, but just bear with me. I'm going to break it down. So, <laughs> every bike is going to be a little bit different. My bike is a Harley, so it's set up a little different. If you're starting on a crotch rock, it's going to be a little different. But for the most part, all the bikes, it's kind of like universal about, you know, across the board. They all have kind of similar controls or similar symbols that you'll be able to pick up on. And, um figure your way out if you hop on a different bike but let's get right down to it so we're going to start off with the controls here we have this is my ignition switch for my bike now on some motorcycles crotch rockets whatever it's going to be a physical key that you turn to uh, power on the electronics of the bike but mine is just like this little chrome switch because i have a harley davidson key fob that as long as it's near the bike it picks up on it and you can turn the bike on it's in my saddle bag but yeah that's that's how that works so we got that now i'm going to shut that off moving on to the handlebars here obviously we have a mirror we have another mirror okay we're, we're all familiar with that I, I hope we can at least get that down understand that on, on the left side here we have this is not a brake this is a clutch now a clutch is going to kill all power to the rear wheel of that bike it's you pull that clutch in no matter how much you try to twist the throttle and give it gas, it is not going to move. And I'll explain more of that later on, but I'm just trying to point everything out for you. So we have the clutch. We just have a handlebar here. This does nothing. This is just to hold the, the handlebars and control the motorcycle. We have a horn. We have um, lights, your high beams, and, and just your regular lights. We have a left turn signal, and then this down here is a little cruise control button. Some motorcycles do not have cruise control, but it works just as similar as it would in a car. You're traveling at 30 miles per hour, you push it in and you set it, 
you let go and the bike can move at 30 miles per hour it'll hold that speed for you okay moving on down here nothing this is just a phone mount for my cell phone so ignore that moving on to the right side like i already said you got your mirror this lever right here is your front brake so similar to how it would be with like a bicycle or something like that pedal bike when you're younger that's the front brake moving down here you have a hazards button just like in a car you're broke down the side of the road you press this up and it is going to flash your flashers over here you have a kill switch button up like this is going to kill the engine when it's running you press it boom the engine's going to shut off when you push it down you're enabling the bike to start which would be this button it's like a little lightning bolt with like a circle around it with an arrow that is to fire up the actual motorcycle so in order to do that you got to have the ignition on first or you got to twist your key the kill switch if it you have to have it in that open setting or or click and then you're gonna press that lightning bolt boom we are started you just started a motorcycle congratulations now in order to shut the bike off I could either twist that back and and kill it or I could press the kill switch button here like this and boom it's off now the electronics are still on that's why you see all this lit up but there we go bike is completely off now and then you have a right turn signal here there's nothing down here so don't worry about that also over here on the right side as many of you guys probably know is the throttle control for the motorcycle so the more you twist this towards you um, the more gas is being fed into the engine and it's gonna make you move faster okay now if we look down over here and I might have to get off the bike to show you guys this don't worry about this this is just highway pegs so I'll fold those up not to confuse you guys down here you have your footboard here it's like a little footrest and then above that this piece right here is your gear shifter your gear select so that is on the left side so a good way to think of it is on the whole left side of the motorcycle you have a clutch and then you have your shift you have your foot peg for shifting so the whole left side of the business over here is to shift the motorcycle the whole right side over here is to slow down or brake the motorcycle so you have a front brake up here down here you have another foot peg and then let me get off so you can see this because you can't because this air cleaner filter i have is in the way down here is your rear brake this pedal so you just push it down to engage the rear brake if your foot's off it you're not using the rear brake your foot normally rests like that right on there so boom that is the controls of the motorcycle there's really nothing else to it all this other stuff you're seeing is the engine this is the rear uh, if I have someone sit on the rear of the bike passenger this is their foot pegs they fold up this other funky stuff you see over here is just an engine guard and then high weight pegs if I want to stretch my feet out more to get comfortable but other than that that is basically it one thing I did want to note before I forget is you see I, I pointed out the turn signal so you got the left one over here and you got the right one over here that's kind of like a Harley Davidson thing and I'm sure there's other brands that do it or bikes that have it but the majority of the time for motorcycles they will have the turn signal switch on just one side it's usually the left side and you kind of click it over to the left or click it over to the right based on where you're going Harley Davidson's a little different they put the left and the left and the right and the right so that might be a little different compared to your motorcycle but other than that, that is basically the basics of all the controls and buttons in your little cockpit here on your motorcycle. Now, like I said, it's going to vary depending on your bike, but for the most part, that is going to conclude all the basic functions of the motorcycle. The second part of this video or this series, we will be going into turning the bike on, more in depth on that getting the bike rolling using the clutch and shifting a little bit of gears so if you're interested in seeing that go ahead and click on the second part of the video and we will go from there thanks for checking out guys if you're new to the channel hope you're enjoying the content check out some of my other videos to look more into my motorcycle or some of the other stuff i do on a bike and for all you returning guys you know your boy get this nick always appreciate you guys dropping by and checking out the video so appreciate it that is part one of how to ride a motorcycle basic controls see you on part two let's go check it out peace